A jury cannot decide uh, child custody in a case. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the three stages to your family law case. If you're involved in a family law case, there are three potential stages your case could go through before it gets resolved. You may not need all three, but I'm going to explain what they are so that you'll know what they are in advance of starting your case. After your case gets filed, whether it's your filing or the other party's filing, the first thing you typically do is exchange information. This is called discovery. The next thing that happens is what I call the first stage in getting your case resolved. That is, you begin a process of trying to negotiate a resolution to your case. If I'm your attorney, I'm going to reach out to the other party, or if they're represented, I'm going to reach out to their attorney. And we're going to try to go back and forth and make offers between the sides to see if we can bridge the gaps that exist between what you want and what they want, what they can handle, what you can handle. We're going to see if we can negotiate a settlement. So the first step, the first stage is negotiation. That is where we just go back and forth and we try and get this thing worked out. That actually does happen in a good amount of cases. If negotiation doesn't lead to a resolution of your case, the next stage is called mediation. Mediation is a process in which a third party trained facilitator tries to negotiate a resolution, a settlement between the two sides, between your side and their side. Some people refer to mediation as shuttle diplomacy. Years ago, we used to do these live in person where you and your attorney would be in one room and the other side and their attorney would be in another room and the mediator would literally go back and forth and back and forth between the rooms, walking down the hallway back and forth. Nowadays, because of the comfort level that people have with Zoom, especially after COVID, a lot of the mediation is now done by Zoom on the computers. So you may be in the office with your attorney on one computer screen. They may be in the office of their attorney in the other computer screen. Uh, a mediator may be at home or, or be at their own office and the three parties are brought together and the mediator puts uh, you and your attorney in one room, puts them and their attorney in another room and literally just goes back and forth from room to room trying to negotiate a settlement. The point to remember here is that mediation is the process of somebody who's a trained facilitator tries to bring the parties together to figure out what each party needs to give a little bit on in order to broker a deal. You've gone through the negotiation process with the other party or their attorney. That hasn't worked. You've gone to mediation. That hasn't worked. What's the third stage in your case? Third stage is litigation. So in litigation, that basically means going to trial. Now there's a number of different uh, formats for trial. Most trials in family law cases are going to be bench trials. A bench trial means that you and the other party are putting up all of their information and evidence and testimony to a judge who's listening from the bench and the judge is making all the final decisions. The other option, which is not very frequently used, but it is available, is to have a jury trial. And that is, like you're probably very familiar with, uh, a jury of your peers sits and listens to all of the evidence and makes decisions. Now, there are certain things that juries are not able to make determinations on when it comes to family law cases. A good example is custody. A jury cannot decide uh, child custody in a case. A judge will still need to listen attentively and make that decision uh, at the end of the trial when it's time to make the ruling. The jury can hand out their ruling on certain things like, for instance, uh, amount of alimony, uh, who keeps the car, the house, the, the boat, uh, the, how, how to divide up the financial accounts, but the judge is still going to need to be the one who makes the decision on custody, on the parenting plan, etc. So there you have it. The three stages that a family law case can go through in order to get it done. Negotiation, mediation, and litigation. And remember, negotiation is trying to negotiate a deal directly with the other party or their attorney. Mediation is having a trained facilitator helping you guys to try and negotiate a settlement between y'all. And litigation means, well, it means trial, but it just means, hey, we can't get everything done. We just need to turn it over to the judge to do it. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is that from negotiation or mediation, you can resolve certain issues so that when you do end up in litigation, not everything needs to be litigated. You may have seven or eight major issues that need to be determined. Maybe four or five or six of them will get determined by either negotiation with the other side or in the mediation process. And maybe you only need to go to the court 
to ask the judge to make the final determination on two or three or four of those items. So definitely keep that in mind. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this information very helpful. Go ahead and click like, subscribe, follow, whatever's appropriate for the platform that you're watching this video on. And leave some comments for us in the comment section. We love to see what you're finding useful about these videos, what questions you have. Uh, give me ideas for future video topics that you'd like me to talk about. And, and definitely tell us if you agree, if you don't agree. I, I love hearing your opinions. All I ask is always, please just keep it polite. And don't forget to join our Facebook group at Georgia Divorce and Custody. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.